Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Matt, thanks for stopping by. Now I've got a really unique pattern for you today. This is one of those I consider a specialty fly, meaning it's not one that you probably tie a dozen of them up and have them in several sizes in your box. It's one where you might just have two or three for some really unique occasions. Now the bug I'm talking about is called the leaf hopper. Now you might have seen these as you're walking along the bank. If you fish a lot of trout water that has some leafy vegetation along the banks, they're just tiny little bugs, usually in green. You might see them hopping from leaf to leaf on bush to bush. Now I know on this channel I say I don't usually tie flies down to 20 or smaller, but in this case I want to make an exception. I'm tying this one today on a size 22, because really that's just how big these bugs are in the real world. They're only a couple of millimeters long, maybe a quarter of an inch. Some of the species get up to about a half an inch, but the ones I've seen are just really small, a quarter of an inch at best. So the pattern's not really commonly tied at all. There are a few examples of it out there. I consider it something like a jacid that you'll use in the middle of summer and terrestrial season. Maybe you're fishing hoppers and, and they've lost their effectiveness, but you do see some fish rising somewhere. You're not really sure what they're going after. Take a look, it might be something like this, and a pattern like this could save the day for you. So it's not a hard pattern to tie. If you were tying this thing on a size 12, it'd be a piece of cake. The only challenging thing is they're small bugs in size 20s and 22s. So, so that can make it a little bit more challenging, but overall, it's still not a hard bug. I think it's a pretty cool looking one, and I think y'all are gonna like it. Let's give it a shot. So there's one in the vise, a leaf hopper. Really small bug. Take a look at this. That wing looks good right there, right? And then it's a little askance on this side. Let's see if we can do a little bit better on this one we're about to tie. So sizes for this, recipe says 18 to 24. I'm gonna go into 22. Tiny little guy right here. And for a little perspective, there's your dime. And how about this? We did this bug, our New Year's Day bug was on the same hook, but a size six. So here's a six compared to a 22. And for this one, I am stepping my thread down. I'm going with a white uni and 40 denier, which really is about a 17 aught. So let's take the base down to where the point of the hook is, I guess. And one tip I learned, probably the hard way, when using really thin thread, a lot of times, you know, regular thread. You get there and you want to pull some extra thread out, you just yank down on your bobbin holder like this. If you do that with this really thin stuff, that will break your thread. What you have to do is just make sure you're pulling it straight down and now you can pull it out like that without risking breaking your thread. So let's pull a little slack out right there and I am going to put some wax on it. And the dubbing on this, you could use a rabbit, I'm sure, but you know, it's a dry fly. I'm gonna stay with something synthetic and I'm going with a chartreuse superfine. Now it's not gonna take a lot. Maybe a noodle about, probably less than two inches, I'd say. And I'm gonna just spin this on here. Oh, fairly tight. I'm not worried about a taper or anything like that. And one thing you can do, the first couple of wraps, put them on in front of where you want the back of your body to be. Now go back and that way you might eliminate uh, any fuzz hanging off the back of your hook right there. Just watch the point of it. That was a disaster waiting to happen right there. So let's go up and you know what? I need just, well no, that's far enough. That's, that's what I want. So envision that in front of the thread, bare hook, that's where my hackle's gonna go, but I'm going to tie the wing in just a little bit back on top of this dubbed body. And the pattern calls for just duck slips for the wing. Um, yellow, green, chartreuse, whatever you want to do is probably gonna work. And one thing I just did, I put a coat of varnish on this tiny little slip of a duck wing, and I'm going to catch it on right there where my thread is, kind of on top. I'm not gonna fold it over as a tent just yet, but when I lay it on top and put that wrap, it will kind of give me that tent style. So I'm gonna put a, a loose wrap right here, maybe a couple of loose wraps and check my position. So I want that laying kind of back. Don't worry about the length, we're gonna trim it in a second. 
but let's take a few extra wraps up here to really lock it in. And then we'll fold this up and cut it off. And if we've proportioned it right, we won't have any you know, stubs hanging out over our eye, as we'll probably have that with our hackle. We might end up with a, a front that we've got to clean up before we're done. So I'm just smoothing this out right now. And let's go ahead and trim this wing. So it is folded over tent style like that. I'm gonna pull it up and then I'm gonna cut it at an angle just a little bit past the bend of the hook. So there's our, our wing right there. And that one looks fine. I'm, I'm thinking we're okay there. Could have possibly made it a little shorter, but you know what, I'm gonna live with that. So I've got my next piece here, dry fly hackle. Go with a white or a light ginger. And I measured this one. This is a, actually a size 20 but I wanted it to be uh, just a little bit bigger. I think the, the feathers that I measured at a size 22, the hackle barbs were just a little short. So let's catch this guy in right back here. And if you can get the concave side toward the hook, yeah, do that. It's kind of hard sometimes with these tiny little feathers, but just leave a little bit of bare stem showing right there at the top. That will make that first wrap a little bit easier. Now I do have a little stub right here. I need to trim off. Now let's just wrap this hackle. And my goal here is probably four wraps, but not at the expense of clobbering my eye. And I'm gonna have a little step down there to, to get down. So I just have to Take my time and be a little bit careful right there. That's three wraps. Do I want to risk one more? Yeah, I'm crazy that way. So let's go ahead and capture this right here. And I think I might be in good shape without any of these hackle fibers pointing up or sticking up there over my eye. But just to be sure, I'm going to pull these back a little bit and then take my few wraps right here and I'm gonna whip finish it before I trim off that excess feather right there. You might need to zigzag this through a little bit to try and avoid trapping any extra fibers. Now let's just get this last piece right here. Take a look, see if we have any cleanup. No, I think we're gonna be fine. We've got the little bit of room for the tiniest drop of head cement right there. But there you go, size 22 leaf hopper. Pretty nifty looking little specialty fly. So I appreciate you watching everybody. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.